continuing the story about rare but legendary motorcycles, you just can't not mention the Honda NR. Motorcycle with oval pistons in the engine. A real technical dead end, but showcasing the abilities of Honda engineers. Bike inspired by Massimo Tamburini's design, pushing it to plagiarism. Just over 300 released. Today, price of each one reaches $200,000. It all started in 1978 when Honda decided to make a comeback in MotoGP. However, the company did not have a motorcycle for this particular situation after a 12 year hiatus, so Honda engineers had to begin the process from the beginning. But that's just half the trouble. In those days, everyone raced with two stroke engines, but Saichiro Honda, the company's head, despised them. Since the MotoGP regulations at that time allowed a maximum of four cylinders for racing, Saichiro comes up with a brilliant idea. He recalled that the company had already achieved a notable power increase by switching from a two-valve cylinder head to a four-valve one. Soichiro Honda suggested to his engineers to build a V4 engine, but not with four valves per cylinder, but with eight. The engineers couldn't wrap their heads around how to fit eight valves above a regular round piston, but no one dared to argue with the head of the company. It was thanks to Saichiro's unique character that the engine with a unique oval piston shape appeared in the world. When building such a unique engine, it was necessary to calculate the efficiency of this solution under real conditions. Pay attention to the friction force, temperature regime, and the thermal deformation associated with it. The team was constantly plagued by issues due to poor manufacturing quality and fitting of parts. But the engineers didn't pay attention to these aspects, because they just wanted the engine to start up as soon as possible, which led to constant breakdowns and failures. Nevertheless, the team gradually tackled one problem after another, and already in 1979, Honda returned to MotoGP with a brand new motorcycle NR500. NR stood for New Racing, equipped with a 32-valve V4, an aluminum monocoque frame, and a telescopic cartridge type fork. The motorcycle surprised literally everyone, except its developers. In Britain, the motorcycles weren't ready for the race, and that was confirmed both in the qualifying, where both motorcycles ended up among the last, and in the race. At the last French stage, the racers couldn't even qualify. Because of the heavy four-stroke NR500 engine, it weighed almost 20 kilograms more than its competitors, so painstaking work began to replace heavy parts with lightweight titanium, aluminum, and even magnesium counterparts. However, these enhancements only provided temporary improvement to Honda's situation as the competitors began adopting the same approach with their motorcycles. After three years since Honda's return to MotoGP, the NR500 never managed to win a single race, not even once. The pressure was building up, and everyone understood that this project had run its course without ever bearing fruit. During that time, journalists harshly but accurately dubbed the NR project as never ready, indicating that it was never ready for implementation. The oval piston wouldn't have made it into production without one thing. In 1987, there's a chain of victories on the NR750. The motorcycle remains the same, but it is equipped with a larger engine, which will undoubtedly be a significant and memorable event in the history of the company. The concept of an engine with oval pistons has proven its right to exist. It took a whopping five years for it to finally reach mass production. 
1992, Honda released a limited series of sport bikes, NR750, on which the world first saw such innovations as the same 32-valve V4 engine, aluminum monocoque frame, inverted telescopic fork, under-seat exhaust, carbon fairing panels, various titanium elements of the side-mounted radiator, and much more. Honda was particularly proud of the continuous flow of power throughout the entire rev range. The engine started from scratch. At 3,000 revolutions per minute it delivered a confident 45 newtons, and at 6 it was 56. The short stroke of the oval pistons, with a high compression ratio, led to the power unit gaining speed rapidly, yet consistently in a linear manner. Even when the attackometer needle approached the red zone there were no signs of tension man. The gears were running smoothly and effortlessly. The MIDI 45mm inverted front fork is very energy intensive with outstanding feedback and handles unevennesses even during hard braking. The ProLink rear suspension sticks the Michelin to the asphalt, transferring all the power through the contact patch. By that time there simply wasn't a better suspension than the one on the NR750, and it will take decades for Olin's to be able to use all of its racing developments for peaceful purposes. Enyor had a smooth but instant response from the engine to the throttle when accelerating out of turns. On top of that, it's very easy to control and precise. Amazingly, NR became the first Japanese 750cc motorcycle with multi-point electronic fuel injection. And compared to the sharp reactions of flat throttle carburetors, which were already very common at that time, it appeared like a turner against the back singers in the local hub. <laughs> How many were there? According to sources, 200, 300 pieces. At that time their cost was about $60,000, which was quite substantial. So they all settled in museums and private collections. But one way or another, Honda has fulfilled its duty. Implemented racing tech in mass-produced product, no significant achievements in sports. She left her mark on motorcycle history, making an everlasting impact.